Hello. Hello. You're okay. I'm murdered. Right. 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 Hello, you okay? Hello. Can I just ask how come you're filming in here? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are in Broad Street, Birmingham once again and this time in 2022. So I hope that every one of you had a good New Year's Eve and that January 2022 started on the right note. Um, so it's going to be a walk around the place. So we will walk along Broad Street and then we will have a look at the canal, Brandley Place and then we will go around Victoria Square and yeah, so the same old, same old so um, yeah, let's, let's get started If watching this video you are expecting a New Year's Eve part 2, uh, forget about it because it's going to be very quiet. Uh, Bow Street is not the same as it used to be uh, prior to the pandemic and I should have probably walked on the other side of the pavement because more people were on the other side but I because I uh, walked on the other side uh, during New Year's Eve I wanted to do something different but I should have gone on the other pavement but uh, for next time I know so this is Broad Street on a Friday night it was around 10 p.m. so I really thought that everybody would be out I didn't expect the same vibe that uh, during New Year's Eve obviously but I thought that it would be kind of similar you know not as busy even though it was not really busy but I expected um, more noise more vibration <laughs> um, but yeah it was quiet it, it, it seemed like a Sunday uh, Sunday night not a Friday night this is how it looks like uh, today and um, and also I think that uh, someone in the comment section in the New, New Year's Eve video said that the wordworks didn't help and I agree because obviously seeing all the wordworks uh, can uh, put off some people as it is not aesthetically pleasing to the eye so it can discourage some people from walking along Bow Street but enough negativity um, so I do enjoy um, Bow Street. Uh, I do remember before the pandemic, uh, the place was, was busy, a lot of people, a lot of men, women, uh, people having a cigarette outside of the club. Um, yeah, it was very, very different. And I wish that at that time I was into um, making videos because there were so many things that I could have recorded that I could have filmed there were like some funny uh, incidents <laughs> that actually I remember right now and I wish that at that time um, yeah it was in the year 2013-2014 um, that I actually recorded because there were so many things to see so many <laughs> funny stuff <laughs> that I witnessed but yeah, um, I don't know if there is actually footages of, uh, uh, of uh, Bow Street uh, prior to the pandemic. I haven't checked uh, YouTube for that. But if you do have any recording of uh, Bow Street uh, nightlife, you should uh, put it on YouTube. It would be nice for the rest of us to reflect and be able to compare with a an ideal of the past if that makes sense 
Anyways, um, some of you may have noticed that I upload less videos on my YouTube channel and the reason is it was too much. Uh, uploading daily was a big challenge. I did it for a month and I realized that it, it wouldn't work. It wouldn't work for my lifestyle. It wouldn't work for the type of videos that I make. And uh, so now I'm going to upload uh, at least two videos uh, weekly. Um, I'm going to do my best because I want to do different type of videos, especially for the Commonwealth uh, of this year. I want to um, show different parts of Birmingham. Um, in a way, it will help people who come to Birmingham um, for tourism or to visit for a day or two or even to live. Um, so I need to prepare this type of videos. So basically what I want to make is videos where I introduce you to several parts of Birmingham. So I'm, I am going to make a central Birmingham. Um, so I'm going to make a visit Birmingham where I'm going to focus on central Birmingham. I'm going to speak about the touristic places to visit. Um, I'm going to speak about different uh, restaurants, uh, what to do in a day, um, and, uh, things that will help people who want to visit Birmingham and don't have the time to check where to go. You can just watch a video. There are already videos on YouTube, but I just want to give my little take <laughs> on it. So basically you watch the video and you know uh, what places to go to, um, um, what places to visit, where to eat, um, where to live, you know, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm going to do the same thing with Birmingham suburbs, like Mosley. As a matter of fact, I'm going to start with Mosley. I always, when I want to, um, when I have a video idea, I always start with Mosley, so it's always rubbish. <laughs> the video always sucks because it's like the, the, the pilot video. So I try my idea with Mosley and then I get more comfortable and I am more emboldened to do the same thing in different areas of Birmingham, like Kingsley's, um, Edgebaston, Bourneville, Harborn. So yeah, so it always starts in Mosley and then I corrupt every uh, suburbs around uh, Mosley. <laughs> the first video is going to suck. So if you don't know, now you know. Um, there is something I want to speak about. Um, Sometimes I see uh, comments on my videos. Some people say, oh, you're brave to walk by yourself in, uh, I don't know, Hensworth. <laughs> or at night time, uh, you know, be careful because some people may be blah, 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 blah. Insert what you have in mind. And uh, I want to speak a little bit on it. Okay, so let's speak about the elephant in the room. The reason why people tell me to be careful or you're brave or this and that is because of my gender. It's that little thing that people don't want to put their finger on. Oh, that sounds strange. <laughs> but anyways, it's my gender. And the thing is, I want to go out and record and I don't want to only record the nicey nicey place in uh, Birmingham. You know, some people, I, I don't like to always speak about it, but some people do have an issue with me uh, not only focusing on the nice touristic spots of Birmingham, but also the fact that I venture inside the, the deep ends of uh, Birmingham, <laughs> the place that you don't see on touristic uh, websites. The thing is, if I want to go there, I want to film, I'm going, to, I'm, I will go there and film. 
if I have someone with me, like a male, a man with me, you know, that's great. But if no one is available, I will go by myself and I'm not going to let uh, my gender um, be a, a hurdle to my goals. What do you want me to do? I cannot uh, grow a male genitalia. <laughs> I just cannot do that. Maybe some people can, but I cannot do that. So the only thing I can do is go out and record and do my thing. In the first uh, Birmingham nightlife video that I made a couple of months ago, someone in the comment section told, uh, asked me to do Soho Road. So I don't know if that person meant Soho, by uh, Soho Road by night, but if that's what you meant, the joke is on you because I'm brave, but I'm not uh, suicidal. I'm brave, but I'm not stupid. I'm not going to put myself in danger. Uh, Soho Road by night. Um, <laughs> no way, not even in a car. I'm not going there. I'm not going to um, uh, put my life uh, at risk just for views. <laughs> no, so no, uh, no. I, I do Soho Road uh, during the day. There is two or three videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I think that's that's enough. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do videos, uh, put myself on like walking around with a bulletproof vest just to show that I'm brave and I can, I can, I can take it. I can, you know, I'm a gangster. I'm not I'm just some some person making videos and and voila. <laughs> Nothing else. It's my first time coming here at night and not that I expect anything different from uh, the daytime. I do like the place. I think that the lighting and the canal nearby gives a very romantic vibe and I do understand why couples like to uh, come around this place of Birmingham. Brindley Place is a very nice place to visit or to live in and you can imagine going back home from work and walking down the canal or riding a bike along the canal. It must be quite amazing. Okay, so enough talking. Let's see how Brindley Place looks like on a Friday night around half past ten.
So as you can see, there is not many people inside or outside the restaurants, but this is just the first part. So let's carry on. This place is absolutely magical. I could stand here for hours just listening to the water noise, the water music, and watching people walking by. And I really believe that uh, this spot could be used for a fashion show. I can picture Chanel or, you know, those uh, Dior, those big brands using this type of spot for the fashion show. This is Costa and as you can see, the design of the building looks like a shellfish, probably to fit in with the canal environment. And it's nice to see uh, those modern buildings. Usually, you know, modern buildings are quite brutal to the eyes, not really um, appealing, but those ones look very, very nice. They fit well with the Brindley Place uh, aesthetic. The impressive uh, sculpture in front of us is called the Bronze Aqueduct Sculpture and it was built in 1959 by Miles Davis. So here I'm just walking around um, because I'm not used to this place, like Windy Place is not a place I usually go to. I went, uh, I came here sometimes like to go to the Icon Gallery. Um, I did a video on Windy Place uh, that, I did, that I recorded during the day. But it's not a place um, that I know that good. So uh, I remember I went to like a large 
um, area where people congregate and this is the place I was looking for but um, I don't know I, I couldn't find the place so this is actually what I, I, I was looking for so I realized this is not the route Very nice, but this is not what uh, I was looking for. I'm going to take a break from talking um, and I'll be back in a couple of minutes. We can't be done with tattoo in the This building is the Icon Gallery, which is a art venue. I've been there and actually recorded uh, the inside. The video is not ready. I haven't uh, had the time to edit yet. So when it's done, I will uh, put it on my, on my YouTube channel. So it is very quiet. <laughs> um, usually, during the daytime, there's people 
uh, you know, walking around um, the place. There are people inside the restaurants, like the Piccolino. Um, there are usually people sitting uh, on, uh, on the chairs outside, but it's very, very quiet now. Again, a very beautiful place for a fashion show. Yeah, I think that it could be, it could be great to have models uh, on a catwalk facing uh, the Icon Gallery. <laughs> Hello. The security guard looked terrified by my presence. That's why I said the hello to make him feel like more comfortable because uh, have you seen he was like literally if he could disappear inside the wall he would have. You know I tried to make him comfortable by saying hello but I don't know if it's because I'm black and he was scared. <laughs> You know, to to be alone in a little corner with no one around uh, in the presence of a black person, I don't know. But yeah, the guy look uh, petrified. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not live. It's not live. Oh, it is not live. Are you vlogging? Yes. What, vlogging what? What's yeah. your YouTube? YouTube? Yes. Can I subscribe? Channel? Take uh, my phone so and subscribe. Jay. What's your channel? J O. What? J O. J O. S E. S D. S E. S E. E. Yes. yes, L I L I N E and J. Uh, G, sorry, G. Can you G. spell out? Just with G. Just yes. the link G. Yes. That one? Yes. Or just that? Yeah. Is that yes. one it? Yeah. Ooh, you're popping up. 3.9. Wait, no. 3.1. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hello. 
Can I just ask how come you're filming in here? Because it was no, actually that was filming from uh, before, and the door was open, so I went in to go into Centenary Square. Okay, that's fine. But how come you're filming inside here? Can um, we ask? Oh uh, no, it was just because I was filming from Bush Street, and okay. I came here to go to Centenary yeah, Square. Yeah, so if you don't like filming in here, that's problem. But I'm leaving. That's fine. Yeah, if you just leave I'm now, leaving. yeah, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, leaving. I'm going to Centenary Square. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. You ran, you ran just for me? Yeah, because you know, it's, uh, we, 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 what is the uh, because of security reason, we, we're not actually. Yeah, okay. We, we don't allow filming in, in the building. Yeah, but I'm just, I'm leaving. I'm okay, that's fine. Thank here. you very much. <laughs> uh, my voice sounds uh, crushed. It's because I'm wearing a face mask. Uh, he helps me uh, keeping myself warm, especially uh, when it's late like this and, you know, when I know that I am filming for a long period of time, it helps, uh, like I said, keeping myself warm. So that's why, <laughs> because like li uh, listening to myself, I was like, I don't even know what I was saying. Hello. <laughs> Hello.
Even cars aren't showing up on the road. It's like the old city went to bed early. I'm going to try not to get hit by this biker this time. I paused to think where to go next. Um, I didn't know if I had enough time to go, I don't know, Como Road or something like that. So 
I decided to just go home. So, New Street. <laughs> Victoria Square, New Street. That's the direction I'm going to take. Hello.
Hello. Hello. You okay? Yes, and you? Enjoy a little? I am, yeah. Hello. Hello. You okay? I'm nice. nice. right. right. You're alive. Right. <laughs> You're alive. Like... What are you doing? Filming. Hmm? Filming. What for? YouTube. Why? Because that's what I like doing. I like walking around and filming. What do you do on YouTube? Walking tools. I walk around. Uh, you just like take videos of people? Yeah. No, from the, the streets. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with that. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Hello. Taking videos, yes, but the way she said it sounds like I am a creepy stalker um, standing in uh, dark corners waiting for an innocent soul to show up so that I can jump in front of them and start recording them left, right and center, up and down. That's not what I do. I walk around Birmingham or other places and record the streets, record the buildings, record uh, the environment, record history. Yes, that sounds um, that sounds better than just taking videos of people. <laughs> that would make me look like a st creepy stalker, uh, deranged, who just wait for people to uh, walk around so that I can just grab them and, and record them. That's creepy. That's not what I do. But yeah. <laughs> no, that's funny.
I am checking out. This is all for tonight. Have a good night, have a good day, and see you uh, next time. Bye. I don't think it's a pound. Sixty P. Thank you. Thank you. Stay safe. Thank you too.